Okay, now we're going to discuss how to set up adjustable preview. Uh, the previous step actually described how to um, create the photo to use an adjustable preview. Now we've clicked on Profiles Manage and the Profile and Channel Groups uh, dialog box has appeared. I'm going to double click on the profile I would like to add the adjustable preview to. I'm going to click on Output Plugins. I'm going to single click on Adjustable Preview and click Use. It now appears in the list of plugins that I'm actually using. I'm going to single click on it and I'm going to look to verify that all of the channels I currently am using are assigned to Adjustable Preview. So again to review, Renard Dimmer 1 is using channels 1 through 16, that's COM 1. Renard Dimmer 2 is using 17 to 32. And uh, the reason I split these is just for demonstration purposes. Um, just because I wanted this example to be a little bit more complicated than one COM port. These could be real COM ports, they could be USB to serial adapters, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you know which one's COM1 one and which one's COM2, it's going to work fine. And again, adjustable preview is 1 to 32. I'm now going to click plug in setup and uh, I'm going to load that image I described earlier. And uh, let's see, here it is and uh, image brightness. I'm going to turn down the brightness, make it a little darker. That's about right. Uh, now I'm going to add the information about the channels. So notice right here on this, this drop down it was blank and I just selected channel 1. Now what I want to teach you here is you can use the up and down arrows. So I just press the down arrow, I'm on channel 2, down, 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 you see how that's changing. That's a shortcut, so just uh, remember that and uh, now I'm going to paint my channels on. So channel 1, I'm going to paint a candy cane. I'm going to press the down arrow. Now I'm on channel 2. And I'm going to paint another candy cane. Down arrow, 3, down, 4, down, 5, down, 6, down, 7, down, 8. So now I have 8 candy canes. And notice I can double check my work by pressing the up arrow. So that's, uh, I'm on channel 1 now, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's right. Now we're going to go to channel 17, and we're going to do some roof channels. It's going to be 17, 18, 19, and 20. <clears throat> now let's say I painted something wrong. Okay, so that's channel 20, and I just put that little error in there. Simply click Clear, Selected Channel. Now I have to redraw 20. Okay, and again I'm going to check my work. I'm going to go, um, let me see if I can show you both of these at the same time. Here we go. Up arrow, up arrow, up arrow. 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. Now we'll go to channel, um, go to channel 24, and on channel 24 I'm going to set up uh, a mega tree now the way you would do a mega tree is you would not want to uh, draw it like a like a pyramid because you couldn't tell which is which. So I would just draw lines. So so what I mean by that is here's channel 24. Uh, I'm going to draw uh, there's channel one on the mega tree, and I'm going to use my down arrow again to go to 25. And there's channel two on the mega tree, channel three, four, five, six, seven and 8. And I'll check my work with the, with the uh, up arrow and see how that spins, right? So there's my mega tree, one color. And I'm going to put my, uh, on channel 32, I'm going to put uh, my tune to sign, put it right here out in the yard. Actually I'll just draw it right there. There's my tune to sign channel 32 and uh, what else do we want to do? I guess that's good enough for just a simple demonstration. So again to review, we'll go all the way to the top by holding the up arrow. The mini trees, I'm sorry, the um, candy canes are 1 through 8 and then on 17, so that's on uh, the Renard first pick on the serial port on COM1 would be the first eight channels. And again, 17, 18, 19, 20 are the roof going clockwise. And 24 through 31 is the mega tree. 
and 32 is the tune 2 sine. Okay, so we're done here. Okay, done.